today is the third segment of God Hates This Song, Frank Sinatra's I Did It My Way. I'm going to talk about King Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. This guy really did this, this um, ultimate my way. Because he was a king, he had power and the means to do whatever he liked to do, to please himself. I'm going to read from passage from Ecclesiastes. This is what he himself said, what he did to please himself. I enlarged my works. I built houses for myself. I planted vineyards for myself. I made gardens and parks for myself, and I planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. I made ponds of water for myself from which no to irrigate a forest of growing trees. I bought male and female slaves, and I had home-born slaves. Also, I possessed flocks <clears throat> and herds larger than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. Also, I collected for myself silver and gold and the treasure of kings and provinces. I provided for myself male and female singers and the pleasures of men, many concubines. Then I became great and increased more than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. My wisdom also stood by me. Kind of hard to read that passage without bursting out of laughter because he says so many times for himself like I made this work I built houses I did this I did all just to really please him and uh, <clears throat> he had so many concubines in first king it says he has 700 wives princesses and 300 concubines and his wives turned his heart away. And what he did was really evil in the sight of the Lord because uh, because of his foreign wives, he started to serve their idols. And this was really evil in the sight of the Lord and made the Lord very angry. So, the Lord said to Solomon, I'm reading from passage from 1 King chapter 11. Because you have done this, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom from you, and will give it to your servant. So God is really giving him um, consequence of his sin by giving him adversaries, actually. Verse 14, he says, Then the Lord raised up an adversary to Solomon, Hadad the Edomite. He was of the royal line in Edom. God also raised up another adversary to him, Rezan the son of Eliada, who had fled from his lord Hadadezer, king of Zobah. Then uh, he was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon, along with the evil that Hadad did, and he abhorred Israel and reigned over Aram. You know, King Solomon was so wise and he had so much possession that he could have been the king 
uh, and protect his country and he could really live in peace and live happily ever after if he just followed his father's footstep and worshiped the Lord only. He could have really had everything he wants and live very good life, but because he worshiped other gods, he had these adversaries and God also told him that his uh, country will be divided from his son's uh, life. So one person's doing his own way, he really caused so much trouble for the nation of Israel and later time he repented and he realized whatever all these things that he did was really vain. And he wrote about how he felt about all he did in the book of Ecclesiastes so expressively and beautifully. I'm going to read a little bit of from Ecclesiastes. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What advantage does man have in all his work, which he does under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. Also the sun rises and the sun sets, and hastening to its place it rises there again. And so he goes on and he really expresses how all these things that he worked very hard uh, that it is totally vain. It says, Thus I considered all my activities which my hands had done, and the labor which I had exerted, and behold, all was vanity, and striving after wind, and there was no profit under the sun. Isn't it amazing that person who really did everything his heart desires, uh, finally confesses that all this is vanity. I think we should realize that really going our own way can only uh, bring us vanity of vanities. But if we follow what the Lord command us, what He desires us to do, it will never be vanity. The Lord will really reward you a lot and your life will be really a great experience. I really... Uh, vouch for for the Lord that life with him is in a way really exciting but in a way it is really comforting because you know that he will always do everything for your good so <laughs> okay well that's it I hope you read the Bible um, every day so you'll know what God wants in your life and really follow the Lord with all your heart and that will be the best way for you.